Yo, what's going on YouTube? This Trey TV. I'm back with another video, man. So check this out, bro. You feel me? I got a whole lot of backlash for my recent last post, but this is my thing. If you go back and listen to it, I clearly told every single body that I'm pulling for Frank Martin. If it goes to the decision, um, he will win on points for sure. But if it came down to tank stopping him, it'll be no later than seventh through the 12th round. I clearly stated that, you know what I'm saying? So I was kind of halfway wrong, you know, in the sense. But either than that, man, let's get into it. Um, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Frank Martin did a wonderful job. Uh, he put a spectacular performance. Um, he showcased that he definitely belongs on this level. Um, and he definitely handled the pressure very successfully, like he should and like I knew he should. Um, now, as far as his performance, I feel as though he was dominating. I mean, Tank got some rounds in, he got rounds in, but I feel as though he got majority of the rounds in. Um, and he was real technical, real tight with his punches real sharp footwork looked a good iq looked a good everything was on point um but if you go back and watch the post fight conf uh post fight press conference um he states it right out of his mouth i deterred from my game plan to slow the pace down and i decided to get on the ropes you know what i'm saying i was chilling on the ropes too long now with him stating that and going back what I said, I mean, if anything, he caused the fight himself. He caused the fight to be stopped, not tank. Because at the end of the day, had he stayed on his bike and boxed him beautifully like he was in exchanging punches with him, because Tank also said in his corner that he got some power. I got to slow him down. You know what I'm saying? He clearly states that. And I dropped the video before um, about that. You know what I'm saying? Frank Martin came in there with some pop, and Tank felt it. I mean, why y'all think Tank had an apple on his right cheek? You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Tank. You know what I'm saying? I want to get this off my chest as well. A lot of people think that I'm a Tank hater. A lot of people think, oh, man, you don't like nothing about Tank. It ain't that I don't like Tank at all. I mean, I don't support his outside antics, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, when it comes down to him as a fighter, he's a phenomenal fighter, for sure. I mean, just because I pick Frank Martin over him, that don't mean I hate him. I mean, I respect what he do, you know what I'm saying? He's a great boxer. He's slick. He's actually underrated in the boxing department because of how he gets guys up out of there. He don't just box and stick and move and get out the way. He actually has the ability to go get you, and he has the ability to box you. But my only thing inside the ring, I would say that he needs to work on, like I said in my previous video, he needs to work on his head movement, his defense. He get hits a lot. And as well, he needs to be more active. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I was saying, Tank is a uh, phenomenal fighter. Um, but I just feel like when you look at the fight and when you think about it, the way it played out. If Frank Martin would have... See, that's the thing. There's a whole bunch of ifs in this fight. Even though he stopped them, we also got to think about the if. Frank Martin wasn't tired at all. It was the eighth round. They had four rounds to go. What if he would have stayed on his bike? You feel me? What if he would have stayed with the game plan that he was showing everybody for eight rounds and that Derrick James was telling him? That was the game plan. Just like I said, I mean, it seems to me that I was, that that uh, Derrick James actually watched my video. You feel me? He must have watched my video or something because I told him. The three ways of success, use that jab, shoot that left hand, and move. And that's exactly what he did. And he did it at his most prominent stance. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Frank for adjusting to the big stage. Shout out to Frank for showing why he belongs on the big stage, you know what I'm saying? But either than that, man, Frank Martin lost the fight because of himself. 
Not because Tank was just so much better than him. Because Frank Martin was countering the counterpuncher. Truth be told, you go back and watch the fight, look at the scorecards, Frank Martin was up, for sure. I mean, the fourth and fifth round was kind of debatable um, after Tank started picking it up, you know. Um, I definitely had Tank winning at least the last few rounds or so based off of Frank Martin's inactivity and him trying to figure out what he needed to do to slow the pace down. Um, but like I said, you know, that was all inexperience coming from Frank Martin. We knew that he was the most, the more inexperienced fighter out of the two. But at the end of the day, I didn't expect him to deter from, um, from his coach's game plan. That's what got me confused about what he did. Not that he didn't do a good job or when he was following Derrick James' game plan, he was following it to the T. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, um, it wasn't so much that Tank was overpowering him. He just stopped moving. You know what I'm saying? He didn't stop moving because he was hurt. He stopped moving because he was trying to slow the pace down. And he clearly says that. You know what I'm saying? And had he not done that, he probably would have got stopped either in the 10th or 11th, or the fight could have went the whole way, and he could have went on points. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Had he continued his game plan and Tank stopped him while he was doing his game plan, then we can look at it at a different perspective. But right now, the only perspective we can look at it is that he changed his game plan, he stayed on the ropes, Tank caught him, and, and, and it was KO. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, um, congratulations to both fighters. Um, I ain't got no bad blood for Tank at all. Um, if anything, he just proved to me why he's one of the greats. But like I said before, um, he needs to fight more stiffer competition that, that actually has as much experience, if not more than him. Um, and please don't fight Lomachenko. But that's a whole other story. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. All y'all tank, tank tank boys, keep on coming. I'm not running or ducking, no do uh, dodging, no smoke. If y'all want to come up on the hill with the same hate comments and insults and disrespectful comments, I'm here for it. You feel me? I go live and go tit to tat and add y'all on there, and we can go tit for tat and talk. You feel me? I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm not running from anything. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, man, y'all let me know y'all think of the comments, man. Uh, shout out to both fighters. They done a, a phenomenal job. This Trade TV, man, we out.